Hey guys, it's Jonesy. Well, I uh, down at the field this morning for the uh, official maiden of my um, Q450 Hobby King uh, quad build. Um, it's taken me a little bit longer than what I uh, thought it was going to take, um, but that's just mainly due to me being a bit sick over the past few weeks and being uh, busy at work and stuff. But um, she's all up and running and I'll just quickly run through uh, some of the, the specs and the bits and pieces that I've used. Um, I've actually, um, on Ingleburn's advice, uh, I've moved the ball um, actually to the back. Um, so I haven't flown it with the ball on it, so I'm not kind of stuck in, in, in any way, so it's, that's going to be new to me. So the back's good, which, um, as you suggested, uh, won't get in the way of the um, the Mobius that I've got mounted on the front so at least I'll be able to get a, a little bit of footage from that but um, yeah so so basically this is the Hobby King Q450 uh, kit uh, it's about 10 or 12 bucks or something like that it's pretty cheap uh, it has the power distribution board um, actually built into this bottom plate so you, you just solder all of the ESCs and your power and everything onto that <coughs> excuse me and <clears throat> um, so that's been pretty handy. Um, I've got the uh, Hobby King uh, 30 amp um, F30As, I think they are, uh, ESCs. Uh, they're flushed with the latest version of the uh, Simon K uh, firmware. And the motors that I'm using, uh, 1100 uh, KV, Turnergy, uh, the models, D2836-8 uh, I've commandeered um, a spare set of um, 500 skids from my uh, from my Taro 500 uh, which has just allowed me to move it up off the ground and put the battery pack underneath um, so it basically leaves this second uh, well the, the bottom plate here um, relatively free uh, for cameras and, and some FPV gear and that on there later on um, the KK2 board uh, in my fancy little cup Tupperware uh, food container up here. Um, this is more just in case it flips over and um, crashes. I didn't want it to land straight on the KK board and kill it. So, um, but that's all mounted in there. Um, the, the lid's actually fixed to the top. Um, this is actually the packaging that this came in, which was um, pretty handy. I've just hot glued the board into the bottom and uh, cut some holes through and run the wires through there so um, it's all kind of nice and neat and tidy and um, you can easily get to the screen um, to see it so um, I'm using the 2200 milliamp packs which are actually the ones from my 450 I may get some slightly bigger ones later I'm expecting around about five to six minutes um, run time out of those I'm um, just kind of hovering around and stuff, so we'll see how that goes. I've got this little LiPo alarm on here. I think it's set to 3.4 volts per cell or something like that, which um, will be good enough indication to start with. Um, what else is there? Ah, oh, these Hobby King props. Um, they're actually not too bad. Um, they're really, really badly <coughs> um, balanced uh, when you get them. Um, to the point where I've actually had to put tape um, on one of them because I couldn't sand any more off of the other side. It was just getting too thin. So I biffed that one and I've just put tape on them. But um, the actual props aren't balanced too badly. Um, it's the hubs on them that are really badly balanced and it's just the way they've been moulded um, in this section here. They're, um, you know, there's leftover bits of where they've looks like they've injection molded it and obviously that's throwing the balance out so I've had to get pretty nasty with the sandpaper in there um, but apart from that um, it all looks good I've got the Mobius on the front so hopefully we'll get a bit of footage from that and um, yeah well let's give it a go I'll just stop this and um, I'll restart it again in a sec